to talk a little bit about um, the focus of the class for the for the evening. And um, so this the non sleep deep rest focus here is basically a process that we walk through uh, the the path of meditation each time. And so you can kind of go in and focus on one part more than another or you can just do the whole comprehensive thing. And I thought to talk about core beliefs tonight, both in terms of core beliefs that we're holding that are kind of what you would call a core limiting belief that you're taking to be true about yourself. It's kind of in your own way. Um, and then also the, the more essential core holding of self and world, kind of how we um, contract around this whole kind of I, me, mine thing that then that grabs onto the content in our, in our awareness. And that there's a way that that more core or essential holding is kind of like a belief you could say about me and I and myself and who I am and what the world is separate from me. So I wanted to do both because I think they're linked. And often when you have a core belief that's um, that's related to say it's from deficiency, like, uh, I'm not worthy or I'm not good enough or something, or it's from lack, like I don't have what I need. I don't have acceptance or whatever it is. When you have a belief like that, that you're holding kind of subconsciously, it's slightly driving your behavior. You're a little in your own way. Even if you've worked with it to be able to go into this, uh, non-sleep deep breath space where you're in between waking and sleeping at some level and able to kindly meet yourself in the way that you might um, have organized your, your personality and your structure around a belief and be able just to kindly meet that part of you, welcome it in, get to know it. Um, then there's, there's something that happens when we make friends with the the core parts of ourselves that we've kind of that we don't like that we've um, exiled so when we're able to more fluently meet those parts as they are unfortunately not as we want them to be then it's and it's kind of like a portal into the deeper holding that we can have in which meditation is here to help us kind of undo which is however it is that I organize this thing called me and myself and I hold the world separate from that I hold myself separate from the world the world separate from me and while that's true at a relative level if we can have an inroad through our own core personal core belief then we're able to actually explore the depth meditation practice which is who am I you know what is all this and what's the nature of the nature of things what's the nature of my mind and so I wanted to link those in the practice today because often when I teach the core beliefs I will only teach the 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 personal limiting core beliefs which by the way are cultural are all kinds of other things so they're recycled we all have some version of like five different beliefs basically um and they're handed to us and we swim in this whole culture which supports us to believe them right and so in inquiring into our own personal limiting belief we're all we're also disrupting this um, cultural overlay that has been given to us familial cultural overlay and we each have different kinds um and so if we're able to to look together because i think that it's important we're doing this in a group and there's this kind of a social aspect to the meditation practice that we're all looking at actually similar aspects of ourselves you know um for instance you could say one of my core beliefs would be i'm not safe or i'm not okay as i am fundamentally i'm not okay as i am that you know if i were to be different then i would be okay and so if in this meditation i'm also inquiring with my own as i'm teaching you know then we're all in this together in that sense where we're able to explore the psyche from this relaxed place because we're in this um basically it's a it's a safe environment and we're able to 
um, look together from a place of having our nervous system downregulated through some of the breath and body sensing practices that we do at the beginning and setting intentions. And I also want to say if um, if the piece with core beliefs is not resonant for you or you just don't want to go there, I really respect that. So when we get to that part of the practice, you can just continue to follow your breath or do another practice that's that's relevant for you. Um, so this is just a suggestion in terms of what, where we're going to go today. And then after that, I really, if if you're all up for it, would love to explore that core holding that I'm talking about. And um, throughout the practice, we'll work with opposites. So what's it like to actually embody when we're contracted as separate from everyone around us, essentially? There's just some core holding here. And then what's it like to explore when the body knows there's actually a spaciousness and interconnectivity with, with all of life. That's not an idea, but it's actually a known experience, embodied experience. And kind of go back and forth between the two and then holding both simultaneously. Because what uh, I'm not interested in personally is helping people go too much towards the transcendent or too much towards the imminent of, you know, just lost in the content and psychologizing themselves, but also not lost in the, oh, yeah, I got it. I'm, I've am i just realized um, the essence of everything, and I'm just going to um, have refuge here and forget about the stuff of life. So the yoga nidra practice, non-sleep deep rest is here to, yeah, help us absolutely downregulate our nervous systems. And then as we do so, really inquire into how we're um, organizing our experience and maybe even holding ourselves back a little bit or um, just having some lack of clarity that were that to be seen, that some greater freedom would appear. So it's it's a, a tall order, but I thought, why not? Let's just let's just go for it in the class. And Michael has generously <laughs> invited me to um, just to teach the fullness of the yoga nidra practice as it was taught to me, which, um, you know, often I'm teaching in these other environments, like, you know, with the UN or wherever else where it's not appropriate to ask people to inquire into, um, essential kind of misperceptions or essential knowing, and it's more appropriate just to help with resilience and, um, the neat thing is we'll do both in the practice tonight if you have a favor for one or the other, and um, it's all going to kind of be mixed together here. So just before we start, I'd love to know if anyone has any questions, anything that would make you feel more comfortable to go into this practice. Um, when we do go into the practice, just so you know, you're welcome to have your camera on. You're welcome to turn your camera off. You can lie down on the floor, on a couch, on a bed, on a yoga mat, just... Um, be in a place that feels really comfortable and supported. And then at the end, we'll come back and, and sit for some, some Q&A. So um, any questions? Okay. Well, let's get into it then. Um, so as I said, feel free, you can have your camera off on and um, let yourself take some time to get into the your position, basically, which is going to be, um, if you can, lying down with your head supported so that your forehead is above the level of your chin, which is above the level of your chest. So this helps both if you fall asleep and have some snoring happening, but also just helps you um, be in a good position to be able to be here for a good solid half hour at least, if not 40 minutes. And, and then if you can, can you place a bolster underneath your knees? So as you settle in, maybe allow your shoulder blades to come down your spine. Notice if your the palms of your hands are up or down. Find a good resting place for your feet. Maybe your feet are like hip width distance or wider apart. And even as you've settled in this far, can you now also just make yourself 5% more comfortable? So uh, the goal here is definitely 
comfort. <laughs> we're not we're not doing this practice from a place of wanting to hold our body in a position that's uncomfortable. So this is very key. If at some point during the practice you need to move um, in order to support yourself to be more comfortable, please do. And just so you know, we'll start by looking at the intention and then go into a uh, sort of period of time where we're doing a body scan and breath sensing, noticing any emotional tones. And then we'll do this piece where we sort of highlight the uh, Vijnana Maya Kosha is, was called the, the sheath of intellect, of memories, of thoughts, of beliefs. And we're just going to, you know, take a look at that and really just see what's here in my psyche to be met today. And this is, this is what meditation offers us, uh, is the space to be able to explore our own mind. That's part of the whole point of it. And part of the whole point of it is to let our bodies and minds know it's safe to relax. Say equally, they're both important. So as you settle in, begin by simply noticing your breathing. You may allow your eyes to gently close. Take an inhalation all the way up to the crown of your head. And then a long exhalation sweeping down your entire body to the soles of your feet. Inhaling to the crown of your head. Exhaling, soles of your feet. You may do a few more of those breaths, but we're gently lowering ourselves into the practice. So since the entire backside of your body as the surface that supports you, whether it's a bed or a couch or the floor, can you allow the weight of your body to rest back into the surface that supports you? Again, following your inhale in, your exhale out. Allowing whatever has come just before this moment to begin to fade into the background. And so you're just here, body breathing. Allowing your system be, to begin to settle into a place of rest, ease, inviting in those qualities. You think of this as wherever you are as a safe environment, and you might repeat inwardly, I'm safe with myself. I'm safe with myself. Letting the exhalation continue to extend. Slow and gentle. We'll begin by opening the senses. So could you simultaneously open all the senses. So even if your eyes are closed, notice any light playing across your eyelids, colors, shapes, the sound, sound inside the room where you are, sound of my voice, sound of your own breathing. feeling of touch where your body meets the surface that supports you or the air on your skin. And 
and smell and taste all of the senses open. So in this practice, from even the beginning right now, we're letting go of grasping or holding. So scan your body from the crown of your head again, all the way down to the soles of your feet, looking for any pockets of tension or holding, maybe in the back of your neck, maybe in your shoulders, thighs, hips. So as you scan your body, can you Gently encourage any places that are tight or contracted that they can release, let go into a surface that supports you. So as you breathe in and out, the senses open. You're inviting your body to relax, let go. As you do this, just begin to follow the wave of the breath in and out. So can you feel as if you're kind of catching a ride on the wave of your breath in and catching a ride on the wave of your breath out? So you're not forcing, but you're following your own inhale, your own exhale. Again, the senses are open, so sound, any shapes, colors across the eyelids, and the felt sense of your own breath coming in, going out. And we'll begin by setting an intention. So if you can, an intention for this practice of yoga nidra for non-sleep deep rest. So what was it that brought you here to this moment? And can you affirm that intention just by, if it might be just a, a body feeling or perhaps inwardly stating to yourself your intention for the practice. And we'll circle back to it at the end, just naming, maybe it's to kind of downregulate your nervous system. Maybe it's to explore a belief. Maybe it's to be without agenda in meditation and just let go and see what happens. But no matter what it is, can you set the intention? We'll begin to match our breathing with body sensing as we continue the non-sleep deep breath practice. So feeling the breath come in, the breath go out. We'll begin by placing attention in your jaw. Just notice if there's any tension or holding in your jaw. And can you breathe in to any pockets of tension? You might even move your jaw around a little bit. And then as you breathe in and out, we're going to bring attention to the rest of your face. So feeling your jaw, your ears, so your left ear and your right ear, and both ears simultaneously. If 
you just allow the felt sense of the left ear to unfold in your experience. You might have the visual image of your left ear. And then can you also let go of the image and simply have the felt sense of left ear, a vibratory aliveness, could be a numbness, whatever's here. And same with the right ear. So noticing you might have an image of your right ear as you explore sensation. And then can you let go of the image and simply sense and feel sensation in the right ear. And both ears at the same time. So as you hold both ears in your felt awareness, just notice what you experience. And sensing your breath coming and going, so through your nose, through your mouth, and we'll sense both eyes now the same. So picture your left eye and then just notice, is there any tension or holding in or around your left eye? Could you release and relax any tension? And doing the same with the right eye, noticing any tension in or around your right eye. And sense both eyes simultaneously and just if you can see if there's any kind of grasping or holding in or around both eyes. So as you sense eyes, both ears, that breath coming and going through the nose and the mouth. Sensing your forehead, crown of your head, back of your head, and the back of your neck. Can you let go if there's any kind of tension or holding in the back of your neck? Let it release. Let the surface you're resting upon support you. And sensing both shoulders now, bring attention to your left shoulder. Take an inhalation, and then can you exhale all the way down your left arm into the palm of your left hand? Just letting all the sensation, energy, and breath flow down your left arm into the palm of your left hand. As you breathe in and out, all of your attention is absorbed in your left arm and hand. You may feel your left arm heavy and relaxed. Shifting attention now to your right shoulder, take an inhalation. And with an exhalation, sensing energy and breath down your right arm into the palm of your right hand. So as you breathe in and out, all of your energy and attention is absorbed in your right arm, your right hand. You may feel your right arm heavy and relaxed. Let's do both simultaneously. So with an inhale, sensing both shoulders, exhalation, allow the breath energy to flow down both arms into the palms of both hands. Just notice 
what sensation you come upon as all of your attention is absorbed in both arms and both hands simultaneously. And you feel both arms heavy and relaxed, resting. as if you're not clenching any muscles. Just really let go, release. I'm doing the same thing with the whole back. So your upper, mid, and low back. Take a few breaths in and out as you sense your entire back. Noticing if there's any pockets of tension or holding, or you're kind of holding yourself away from the surface. You welcome the tension as it's here, but can you allow it to release and relax? Your entire back just sinking even further into the surface that supports you. Your breath coming and going and feeling that sense of ease. relaxation. So invitation here is to, is this one of letting go, exploring and letting go. It's not as a necessary thing, but the invitation is to dive into the center of any tension. And then as you dive all the way in, what happens? Notice if it spontaneously releases, relaxes. Doing this also with the whole front side of your body. So chest, belly, whole torso, your sides. So let the breath come and go gently, easily. It's as if there's no next moment here. We're just sensing torso, belly. It's a place that we can hold a lot of tension. So it feels right, just gently explore any areas of tension or holding in the whole torso, in particular, the belly or solar plexus. And as you find any holding, you can dive all the way in and see if it opens out into more spacious. Or maybe it tightens further, so we don't have an agenda here. Just curious, exploring sensation, chest, belly. Can you allow your breath to come and go? So it's following that wave of the breath in and the wave of the breath out as the belly rises and falls. Letting go of any agenda, perhaps keeping in mind the intention, but letting go of any strong agenda here and just welcoming what you experience as you bring attention now into your left hip with an inhale. Then if you can exhale all the way down your left leg to your left ankle and the sole of your left foot. So you're sensing the energy in your entire left leg as you breathe in and breathe out. You allow your left leg and foot to feel heavy, relaxed. You notice as you feel the perhaps vivid sensation in your left leg, left foot, maybe there's a vibratory aliveness, maybe it's numb, whatever's here is absolutely welcome as it is. This is the exploration of meditation. And you picture as if there's a deep spaciousness inside your left leg, even in your knee, 
thigh, shin, calf. It's like a vibratory aliveness. Left leg heavy and relaxed. Notice whatever's happening in the mind it can come and go and allowing your attention to come back to your left leg, left foot. And energy and attention moving into your right hip with an inhale. Exhaling, breath and energy all the way down your right leg, past your right ankle into the sole of your right foot. Inhaling and exhaling, right leg, right foot. So here too, just notice any sensation that's present. The aliveness, spaciousness. And you may Consider your right leg, right foot heavy and relaxed. Let's do both simultaneously, taking an inhale, both hips. Exhale, both legs, both feet simultaneously. Feeling both legs, both feet heavy and relaxed. Feel as if the weight of the legs and feet just are caressed by the surface that supports you. Still in contact with the breath coming and going as as if you're riding the wave of the breath in and out. Sensing now the entire backside of your body from the back of your head to your heels. All of your attention absorbed in the backside of your body. You may feel space, spaciousness, this sort of vibratory aliveness, radiance. Mm -hmm. Or or like a disconnect. So anything's welcome as we're exploring the felt sense and the invitation is if there's attention or holding to dive in all the way to the core of it, see if it opens into space. Same ex exploration with the whole front side of your body, your face, chest, belly, tops of your legs, tops of your feet, arms, whole front side of your body. Sensation of aliveness. You may feel like an energy running through. You may feel a calm or a heaviness. There's no correct way to do this. We're just exploring. Let's go back and forth. So with an inhale, so take an inhale, feeling the whole front side of your body, and then take an exhale, whole back side of your body. Inhaling front side, exhaling back side.
no agenda, simply exploring the felt experience. And then as you breathe in and out now, both sides simultaneously, front and back. The mind can't easily be on two objects at once, so simply feeling the felt sense, front side, back side. No thinking, just feel. And then also feeling the sides. So sense the entire left side of your body. Welcoming that into awareness. And then the entire right side of your body. Let's go back and forth a few times. The next breath, feeling the whole left side of your body. Breathe in and out a couple rounds, just feeling the left side. right side of your body, breathing in and out, a couple rounds of breath. Just notice your nervous system may begin to downregulate into a more calm, relaxed state as you go from side to side now with each breath, inhaling, then exhaling into the left side, and then inhaling right side, exhaling right side. So back and forth a little more quickly in terms of just one breath on one side and then one breath on the opposite side. Touching in again with that quality of ease. Inviting the body to relax, even if the mind is busy or doesn't want to relax, or just making an invitation to the body now, sensing both sides simultaneously. Notice what happens when you sense both sides simultaneously. Inviting now the whole body into awareness, front side, back side, left and right. Crown of the head, soles of the feet, kind of a 360 experience of this radiant aliveness of the body being here, supported by the surface you're resting upon, supported by the space around you. Letting go of any agenda. There's no way to do this right. This next step of meditation, getting to welcome any kind of feeling tones or emotional tones that are here in this moment or that have been here today. Moments of sadness or disconnect or moments of joy, peace. Welcome and sense any movements of emotion or feeling in your body and keep that at a felt sense if possible. You may have images that come to you, memories, or can you just continue to ground as a felt sense these emotions that have passed through or that are here right now, feeling that aliveness of sensation even if it's a contraction, just welcoming it into awareness. This too, this too. A good moment for some self-compassion, this gentle, loving attention toward what is here.
So you breathe in and out now, again, connecting with this whole 360 body felt sense being here. Perhaps spacious, alive. There may be other things present for you. So just inquire what else is present as I'm just being here, resting in meditation. Riding the wave of the breath in, the wave of the breath out. And from this place, hopefully just feeling resourced at ease, we'll welcome in any belief that may be present that you can sometimes hold to be true about yourself. So let this just take a moment to formulate. It could be something about lack, like I don't, I'm not safe, or I don't, don't have the support I need, or it could be something about deficiency. I'm bad. I'm not enough. I'm wrong. I'm not okay as I am. Just check and see what core beliefs might be familiar to you in your psyche. Just maybe one phrase comes to mind. I need to perform to be loved or something else. Like I'm just, just how I am isn't okay. Yeah. So these are the kind of core beliefs that we carry that drive us that we're just going to investigate together. So welcome in this core belief that's here. And in your meditation, we're going to let this belief be like a part of ourselves that we're welcoming and all we're going to do in this part of the meditation is just to meet ourselves. There's no agenda. But if you're in a in a in your mind's eye, you're in a safe, peaceful room and you just allow the door to open and you see this belief comes in the room. The belief of I'm bad or not not supported or whatever it is. Can you just see, maybe it's a version of yourself when you were younger. Notice, if so, notice how old you are, five or eight or 12, older, younger. And this is a part of ourself that really believes this belief. So we're just getting to know that part. So welcoming it in. Can you feel yourself in the space with this belief? Again, if it's a younger version of you, or it could be a color or a shape or a figure, doesn't matter what it is, whatever your psyche brings. Connect back in with your breathing, breathing in, riding the wave of the breath, breathing out, and feel yourself here with this aspect of your psyche, this part of you that believes. You don't, maybe you didn't at that moment have something you needed or something was wrong, but it wasn't you, but you felt like it was you. So just welcoming this part in and feel how it feels to be close to this part of yourself. So you can move towards this part and just feel how it is to be in proximity that kind, loving attention, just noticing this part of you that feels this way. There may be different memories that come or other images. So we're always touching back in with that felt sense of I'm safe with myself. I can be here. I'm relaxed at ease. If anything's ever overwhelming, you can just come back to the ease let go of the visualization, but if it does feel comfortable, then we're exploring meeting this belief. 
there's some core holding in it. Can you feel even in this belief in this image in front of you, the, the, the felt sense of the contraction, the, perhaps even the body is sort of in a certain posture that's tight, sad, restricted. And we're bringing our kind, loving attention to this without needing to change it. It's just something we've believed deeply and might still be believe. So bringing the kind, loving attention, can you just be with this part of yourself? just notice the part and what what it's doing or feeling and can you continue to bring that kind loving attention here there's no agenda we're not trying to fix it and get rid of it and if it feels right you can ask what is it that you want what is it that you want and see if you have an answer from this kind of core belief this younger part of you this image in front of you. Just let, let your psyche answer. What I want is see what comes. And then ask, what is it that you need? What is it that you need? I've heard what you want. Thank you for sharing that. And what is it that you need? Just listen to the response. What is it that you need? Just let, just let the actual response come and receive it just with listening ears. It might be very simple. I need to be held or need to know you won't forget about me. You know, it could be very simple. It could be specific. Just let your psyche speak to you. And then ask, is there an action I can take to give you what you need? Is there an action I can take to give you what you need? Just listen for the response. Let it surprise you. If there's nothing, that's okay too. This part is silent. Just once it's checking you out, that's okay too. What would happen if you just let for the next few moments yourself be with this part of you that believes this? in a in a simple way you're just being you you're letting this part be them just as they are you're listening to what they want and need to their requests and you can respond And then if it feels right, can you close this, this portion of the practice where you're meeting this core belief and maybe just let this part know that they can come knock on this the door of this room anytime and yeah, you may need to get back to them if you're busy, but if you're, you, you're making a commitment here that you'll, you'll be there for them when they return and when they're really feeling strongly that this is true about themselves. So if that feels right, make a commitment. This takes so much compassion. It's the kindness, the basic kindness of your own being as you kind of close this part of the practice. 
Let this be a portal if it's comfortable and you can return to the breath, the flow in and out. Just ride that wave of breath as the belly rises. Sensing the whole front side of the body as the belly falls. Sensing the whole back side of the body. In and out, breath coming and going. Feeling your whole body simultaneously in the surface that supports you. Breath coming and going. And then check and see, is there, if this were like a portal to another layer, like an invitation toward another layer deeper, just check and see, where am I holding kind of myself and that? together in defense against the world around me. It may feel necessary, so not pathologizing that either. Just really welcoming where, where do I feel separate from the world around me? Just meeting that at a core level, a core holding in your body. Nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it. Just checking in to see. Where there's kind of like a fusion happening with a sense of self, me, I, me, mine. That keeps, keeps us defended, protected. So again, this is, we're not pathologizing this part. We're just meeting the part of ourselves, even more core kind of a holding of self and world. And in this moment, just in the, the safety of this space, what would it be like to also dive into the center of that holding, that organization, if that was allowed to open, allowed to release? It was safe to relax here deeply, a core level of identity all the layers of identity just welcome to relax and release just feeling your being the presence of your own being you may feel a spaciousness kind of untethered feeling, or you may feel deeply grounded and calm. Whatever's here, maybe scary, anything. Just welcoming experience as we just peer into the depth here. What if that core holding of self versus world was relaxed or so deeply allowed that it just opened, released into this safe ground of being, your own presence. Kind of care might infuse your whole being or like a feeling even a quality deep quality of joy like this uncaused joy does not come from the outside just being perceived by you from all angles just care joy peace any word that comes to you ease You feel that kind of the invitation is to feel that throughout your entire body, head to toe as you breathe in and out. So your breath is infused, your whole body. You dived into the core of this holding just found space within the core, space within the tension. 
And that just kind of opens out through the whole body. So feeling the ground, the support of the surface you're resting upon. This possible radical openness, radical spaciousness, aliveness, like a vibratory presence. Coming back to the wave of the breath in. Catching the wave out. Belly rising and falling. Deeply allowing, if you can, just your entire experience. Well, it's already allowed, but just catching up with that fact. No agenda. Resting here. You always have the breath, so catching the wave in and out as an anchor in the meditation practice. You always have the felt sense, the whole backside of your body supported by the surface you're resting on. 360 aliveness of the body any ease or well-being or even joy that's erupted. These parts, the core belief or younger aspects of ourselves, the release of the deeper core holding. Is this all only known through the body, only experienced through the body? It's so if you can, as we begin to move towards a closing, bringing this feeling of uh, compassion. It's a kind of compassion that comes right from your heart to your experience. So not the cheesy kind, but the, the kind that just kind of springs forth naturally. I begin to Take a deeper inhale, a deeper exhale. Checking in with how your intention was from the beginning of the practice and what's present now. Just checking in to see what's here. And then imagining yourself going into your evening, whether that's directly into sleep or if it's there's some movement or whatever it is that you're doing this evening. Could you imagine yourself kind of with this felt sense here of the spaciousness just being carried into the evening and into bed and into sleep, this deep kind of body relaxation here. So that it's almost like the, the doer part of us doesn't need to reconstitute. We can just be done by life, letting it carry us into the evening and to sleep. So we'll take our time to slowly move out of the practice. And if it's more preferable for you, you could even remain just where you are and let yourself listen to the rest, the remaining portion of the time together. And if, if you'd like to move, then you can begin to move your fingers and toes, maybe gently bring your knees in towards your chest, rolling over to one side. That kind of held womb-like feeling, supported. 
Why not? Why not picture that? And then just at your own pace, because there's absolutely no rush. There's plenty of time just feeling your body kind of, if you're going to move, just lift up into sitting, seated. And if you don't, if you'd rather remain where you are with your video off, that's totally fine. And We'll stop the recording here, but then we're going to go into a little bit of Q&A. So thank you.